Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft. Welcome back to another video and also I want to wish you all a really happy new year. Um, I hope you have a great, healthy, happy new year. So today we're going to try some more of the MDF coasters. If you remember I did a video last year of um, the ones we did with the napkins. But this time we're going to use rice paper. So I've got the same coasters that I used last time. I'll put the link for where I get these. It's from a seller on eBay. This is the one that I've already um, painted so we can start that one in a minute. I've just got some of this Pebio acrylic white paint but any kind of acrylic white paint will do. Um, <clears throat> oh, I forgot to get a little tub or something to put the paint in so I'm just going to actually stick a bit on here and just paint this on. So you're going to have to give them probably two coats I would say. I'm not going to paint the underside of mine because we're going to we're going to do something uh, else with them which I'll show you in a bit what we're going to do. So that's one. Do, whoopsie, do the other one. Paint. set them aside to dry and then the one that I've already done so I have got some rice paper here again I'll put the link to where I got mine from and it's got these perfect little images on which I thought would be lovely for some um, coasters so I know I can probably see it from the reverse of where I want the, the little pattern on and then what I'm going to do is just draw around it with my pencil. I'm hoping this will work and then I'm just going to cut that out with some scissors. Right, so there's my little image for the coaster. I've got some matte Mod Podge, Mod Podge, any Mod Podge that you want to use or <clears throat> even like PVA glue and stuff I would think. It's just to really stick this, um, what do you call it, rice paper on the coaster. Okay, so some little bits on there and then we are gonna press this down on here there's still a few little bits hanging over so I'm just gonna trim them off All right. And then I'm going to go over this with a coat of the Mod Podge. then when it's dry I will be back and we are going to do some crackle effects on it um, and then we're going to put some like 
what do you call it, cork on the back because what I've got is this is our Sizzix texture roll. They do a cork one as well and I've just cut it to size and all our texture rolls are really thick but the cork one for some reason is thin. So I'm going to glue like two together and put them on the back of the coaster. So we'll do that when obviously when they're dry. So once the two white ones are dry I will come back and we'll do the same with these two images here. So once they're all dry I'll be back. Okay so I have put um, about two coats of Mod Podge on the top, the clear one, so that one is ready for the next step. These two have had two coats of the acrylic white paint so they're ready to have the rice paper image over the top. So it's all dry now um, and I've got the two pieces of cork which is from the Sizzix texture roll and that's going to go under the on the back but before we do that I'll probably sand this down because I've got a bit of paper stuck at the bottom so we'll do that last actually. So I've got Pent Art Crackle. Um, I'll put the link for this so you get component one, component two and you have to paint on component one, let it dry then paint on component two and then it will start to crack and then we need to put something over to kind of pick up the cracks. So I am going to put component one on and then we will have to let this dry. I have no idea how long it takes. It didn't really say in the instruction. I hate these little lids, these little foil lid things. They're awful. Okay, just um, just feels a bit like glue, really, like PVA glue. Okay, so we have to paint this on and let it dry. So we'll set that aside and let that dry before we can do component two. So while we're waiting for that to dry I am gonna get on with doing the rice paper on these two. I've been busy making samples as well for my Sizzix shows this Sunday. Um, so it's all go at the minute, right, the rice paper, I'm just going to do what I did last time, actually I don't move this out the way, so I've got a pencil again, yeah I'm going to have that there, so Turn that over and just draw around that again. So now I am ready to add component number two to the first coaster that we put component one on. Now I have never used this before so I don't know how long the crackle will you know take to uh, kick in. I would imagine it wouldn't be instantaneous so 
I'm going to paint this on. And we are going to add our, well I think I'm going to use eyeshadow actually because I've got like mica powders but I don't have like ones that I think would show so I'm going to dig out some eyeshadow. Once this is crackled and done we'll, we'll start doing that so I will do the same to these two because the Mod Podge is dry and um, they look really nice these so and I do think because I know the video I did with the napkin coasters um, people love that one and I got so many you know messages and things of people shown as theirs but I also got a few from people who I think struggled with the napkins you know they kept tearing them so if you struggled with that particularly one lady I'm thinking Maria these would be perfect for you the rice paper because it's so much easier to put on it doesn't tear you can just you know stick your mod podge on and you're done so yeah try rice paper um so yeah i'll be back once uh this step two is dry okay so it's the next day now and these have the crackle on now i want to quickly just tell you about this crackle um now it did work but when I woke up and checked them I was a little bit disappointed because some of them didn't have any in the middle it was just random lines but hardly any and I thought well that's a bit rubbish if I'm honest so what I did was I took my heat tool and I just put it on heat set and warm and I just give it a good heat for, for a little bit actually and I could start to see it crackling so I was really happy with that. Now you probably won't be able to see until we put the um, the powder on but you can see there but honestly it was nothing like that after you know when I'd woke up I, th I was really disappointed there was hardly any just a few and as soon as I put the heat tool on it started to crack so that's what I've done. So I've got <laughs> this is my um I use this for eyebrows well eyebrows eyeshadows you can use it whatever you want um and I've just got a little brush and I'm gonna go for this ash brown because it's pigmented you see so any like pigment powders or eyeshadows and hopefully when I start dusting it over it, it yeah it'll go in the cracks and we'll be able to see them because at the minute you can't I might go for a darker one Yeah, you can start to pick up on the little cracks now. You should be able to see it. That's much better. You can see them now. You just rub it over and it will obviously stick into the little hairline cracks that looks so nice same with this one so nice with all the little cracks and it's really glossy as well and it hasn't even got the varnish on yet and it so glossy right so that's that and then I think you can see but on these two I've put the Sizzix cork stuff on the back which I think are brilliant they do look really professional and um, I've just got that one to put on there and then I think just because I've caught the sides with some of the white acrylic paint I am gonna just get my oh, I've just got an archival ink here and I'm gonna do what I did last time if I can find. I've just got a little blending tool
and I'm just going to dab it on the sides but it also gives it a bit of a kind of um, a bit more distressed look because it kind of just slightly goes around there which I like that just hides any bits of paint that I caught just dab it on so nice really really happy with these and I mean I have loads of coasters around the house because I'm always drinking tea and coffee in my crafts um, spaces upstairs so I have a few up here I mean this is a warner lady sent me uh, about a week ago so I have that up here but then, then I have a few downstairs on the coffee table so I'm always using them there we go looks really really nice so I've got that done the only thing left to do now people a lot of people were saying that this doesn't hold up to heat when you put your cups on it they were leaving a mark I agree there were mine were but even coasters you buy in the shops sometimes do get ring marks you know it's not the end of the world at least it's protecting your table that is the reason for coasters anyway so it doesn't really bother me if I'm honest but I thought let's try a different varnish I went to Wilco's and I bought this Wilco yacht varnish water resistant all weather resists from all sorts of stuff clear I'm going to try this and then once I start putting cups on I'll let you know if it actually works so I've just got a brush here and we're going to try this that might be wise it might just snap it open so I think I'll probably end up doing two quarts of this and we're just going to see if this holds up better to the cups I'd be surprised if it doesn't actually um, right so and then I might as well stick it on all of them and then I'm going to have to let these dry for a good few hours but I'll put some pictures on the end so you can actually actually see them when they're finished um, but apart from them needing to dry they're done really so give it a try because I think this crackle stuff is really really cool and I'm so happy with how these look so yes there we go that's what I've done with these like I say I think it's easier for people who struggled with the napkins um, and yeah the crackle is great fun so I'll put all the links for everything under the video and um, if you can catch us on creating craft tomorrow I'm on quite a lot actually I think I've got about five shows I'm on most of the afternoon so um yeah and other than that I will be back next week so again happy new year uh, thanks for watching and bye for now